Hey, we're the Eastwards and welcome to Eastward Bound. This is Tristan, I'm Chelsea, and here are our three boys, Lucas, Noah, and Finn. Subscribe and follow us as we build our motorhome and explore Australia. Thanks. Pretty exciting moment last week uh, from Off-Road Living. Thanks, Jace and Kathleen. I ordered our 24 volt, 4,000 watt inverter. Uh, I've been waiting to get this um, so I can install it on that power board at the back there. Cut out a little template, so hopefully the dimensions uh, are spot on. Uh, it's gonna be a tight squeeze, but it should fit. So, um, pretty excited to get this. Eventually this will power, when I get it installed, uh, a small split system air conditioner. And in the meantime, it will be able to power um, pretty much any electrical appliance we want to bring in the bus. Uh, what was this? It's like a, um, oh yeah, we've got one of these on our fridge in the house. Stainless steel bottle opener. Yo! With magnets on the back. So from my understanding is you get power cables, what size is that, looks like maybe a 35 amp or I don't know, 6 gauge, 4 gauge, I'm still learning about all that stuff, don't quote me on that. Beast. Uh, on off switch. Oh, yeah. A couple of fuses and um, little knobs to attach the lugs for the power cables. I think it weighs four kilos. That's the unit there. It's upside down. There you go. Four thousand watt pure sine wave. I do have a two thousand watt modified sine wave, um, which I hear is not the best to be running any sort of device appliance that has like a complex circuitry system. I don't know. It's not a toaster or a kettle. Don't use a modified sine wave inverter apparently. Uh, yeah. Let's see if it fits. I'm back. So I'll just talk you through what I've got quickly here. Uh, oh, hang on. Alrighty. Uh, so this will bolt on to that. Um, that's fixed to the bus. It can be removed quite easily. All the cables come up through the wall from the battery system. 
all the other cables, the twin core stuff, all comes through to the mainframe of that, and this bolts onto that. Stainless steel bolts, yada yada, nice and clean, no rust, hopefully. Um, so what I've, what I've done is we got, we have four batteries, uh, 160 amps each, uh, they're 12 volt batteries, so I've connected them up, forget which way it is in series and then paralleled that, yeah, and um, so the main battery cables will come up and over here we have the positive side, so that will go through this switch, um, which will then provide live power to the bus bar. Um, the bus bar are made out of just some scrap um, copper plate, 10 mil thick, uh, 100 mil wide. Got a guy to guillotine it for me and cut it to size and just bought some stainless steel bolts, threaded those. Put some perspex, uh, 10 mil perspex underneath. Um, so there's, yeah, just to, I guess, bring those uh, con metal contact points off the timber. I've also made these, which I'm pretty proud of. Little perspex covers that I heated up and bent to shape. They go over. Like that just to protect you from any potential shorting out. Uh, that's the negative side uh, that runs through the shunt. Uh, it's the Victron uh, BMV712 Smart, whatever it's called, battery monitor. Um, so all the circuit breakers on the positive line. Uh, this is my Red Arc. Uh, obviously uh, 24 to 12 volt converter for 12 volt appliances uh, that run through the Baintech fuse block. Dedicated inverter for 240 volt um, Samsung inverter fridge, solar controller and 240 volt battery charger. Picked that up as a bargain so I thought I'd just throw it in there anyway. That's second hand. Um, yeah, as I said, circuit breakers for everything. Also going to be, I didn't, I ran out of room to put this thing. So this is uh, the Red Arc. What do they call it? BC DC 24 volt 20 amp charger that will run from the alternator to charge up my auxiliary and starter batteries once all connected. And at a later stage, I'm just going to. Um, uh, buy one of off-road living's uh, solar charge controllers to put somewhere underneath where the batteries are to connect to a portable solar panel uh, in case there's minimal light hitting the panels up on the roof which are two 300 watt panels connected in a series is what I'm going with at the moment and the moment we've been waiting for Oh yeah, so oh, it's pretty tight, but these cables will run out of there, and the 10 amp extension leads will plug into there, go through the back, and I'll just run those. Um, I'm not going to hardwire 24 volt, 240 volt in at the moment, we'll just be run, running off extension leads um, that will go through the back of the cupboards just to power whatever device we want. Um, yeah, so you can, looks like you can hardwire 240 volt in if you want to. I won't do that just yet. Pretty happy with it all. Oh yeah, this is yeah, that's right, I showed you that. And that will be also connected up to the fuse block 
uh, the lighting switches, uh, diesel heater, hot water system, uh, fuel pump, external lights, uh, jacuzzi on the roof. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's it. Woo! Happy days!